I can't complain, and I wouldn't even try to find a reason to at this the, point. The self awareness, I think, is so key, is, especially in that world. Uh, some interview I watched you on where you said, I think Kevin Costner told you, like when you take a big bite out of the universe, the universe bites back. Yeah, like, big time. Like you're riding high right now, kid, but like yeah. be ready. And I think that even just knowing that or accepting that is like a big. That's step what, uh, towards being able to move on. Conan just had like one of his like a uh, New York Times interview or something like that, where he was just like, I, I think his his quote was uh, like why he stopped caring about opinions and stuff like that okay. was his quote was every grave goes uh, every grave goes unvisited or something like mm-hmm. that. Like eventually, yeah. every, no one goes to your grave anymore. Right. Eventually, yeah, eventually you fade. Eventually, like, you're nobody. I cremated. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cremated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I mean the awareness though. I I know you know not gonna rehash something you've talked about a million times, but you going on that show with Louis to handle that the way you did is like the only yeah. way to do that. Like the fact that you sit you sat down, you did his script, you did it in a way that I thought you both kind of looked good, but obviously you had to take some lumps there. I thought that was like very admirable. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, like one of those things that when it was positioned, I I just felt like, you know what? I'm ready to put this in the rearview mirror and when he called and said, "Let's let's uh, you know, break bread and figure out how to do it." I was totally game. The the funny thing is the internet doesn't forget and the internet thinks that everything that they read just happened. Mm-hmm. Little do they know, it's like I'm having spa days with people that you think that I was fighting with, you know, 8 really? years ago. Yeah, really? So it's it's just it's all flotsam jetsam, man, you yeah. know. Anybody who's believing most of that stuff without hearing it from the source it's you almost kind of feel bad for him well bit. yeah i mean i that would piss me off if i were you because even it I, doesn't I, though I, I, here's why because comics fight all the time yeah it's so very what, catty what happened with, <laughs> what happened with louie and i was like literally something that happens almost every night at a club between mm-hmm. two comics right I, it's territorial yeah, yeah. territorial pissings mm-hmm. and everybody's it's parallel thinking a lot of people do have similar concepts ideas so it Everyone's hashing out at some point. Uh, dude, I do a bit about, you know, blah, 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 bottled water. And I just heard your your line about it. And then you have to figure out on shows, oh, I'm doing my bottled water bit tonight. That means that you can't because right. I'm on before. It happens all the time. It was unfortunate that him and I just had to air it out on the wall of the internet. The, 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 I think the internet almost makes it, like, harder for the, all those things. Like, like. People will be like, oh, you stole that tweet from this person. Oh, like, yeah, gets, the tweet stealing is crazy. It's, it's like, like, dude, no, I don't I, follow the entire internet. Right, I don't right. know that he said it, that one it, thing. It's it's kind of interesting as people have uh, found their own celebrity, how many of them will then call me or we'll see each other at a club and they go, man, now I get it. Mm-hmm. I was one of the people, too, looking at you going like, wow, man, that sucks. How did he get this? And how did... People understand that success, here's what success gives you. right? When you reach that high tier, it opens you up to all the people that hate you. Mm-hmm. And that's what it is. And you have to remember, success, it's a narrow lane. You find your lane, you find your fans, and you can't be trying to meet anybody else outside of that. If people want to venture to what you're doing, that's why, listen, at the end of the day, I, I say to whoever is interested in doing comedy, the one thing that got me from you know, gigs in the middle of nowhere in front of five people to gigs in front of 20 or 30,000 people the only there's one word that defines all of it my whole career what has been and it's what to come and that's funny if i wasn't funny we wouldn't be sitting here mm-hmm. nobody would be showing or certainly they wouldn't come back 